Hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm in Whitby today to check out one of the best fish and chip shops in Whitby. Behind me is Trenchers. Now the reason why this not only is one of the best fish and chip shops in Whitby, some people say the best, but it's because the chefs in there have proper white hats. And you don't see that very often in a fish and chip shop. Yes, I know they serve other food as well, but because it's kind of like still a fish and chip shop, it's quite quirky. Fish supper to die for, the queues say it all. Well, thankfully, I've come at a quiet time. Let's go and see if it's really that good. Hello, can I get a table for one? Table for one, yeah. yeah. So it's quite amazing actually. In 2019, it was uh, voted one of the best independent fish and chip shops in the UK. So let's have a look at the menu. Nice. So as always, I'm going to review the cod and the chips, obviously, and some mushy peas. Can I go for the uh, the small cod? The extras are just down there. So mushy peas, bread and butter, gravy, curry bread, okay. garden peas. Can I get mushy peas? Yeah. And uh, can I get a cup of tea with that as well? Oh, you can. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I like the fact, actually, that you sit on this leather, almost like a couch. It's kind of nice. So the theming in here is um, quite posh, actually. And actually, the light, the lampshades do remind me of an old beef eater restaurant. But everything is green. It's that dark green look as well they've got to it. Attention to detail look. Napkins. The plates. Just been bought my cup. Oh, very nice. And also some tartar sauce and tomato sauce, which actually has been bought before the food arrives, which is quite a nice touch because normally you have to ask for that and you get that afterwards. And the food can go a little bit cold. Brilliant, thank you. thank you very much. Well, I'll tell you what, so I've got, what's that? Hot water. And a teapot. I love that, the old fashioned style that they bring you tea for then more hot water to fill that up if it gets empty. So obviously other than fish, you can get some fresh crab. Also the famous Whitby scampi, which is about 6.95. I'm tempted to try that, but um, noticed on the menu, it's some deep fried brie wedges. Wow. They also do a seafood chowder too. So let's do the tea test. Mmm. Nice strong cup of tea. I do like the fact when you walk in, you see the chefs in their whites and chef hats as well. It's quite nice. So there is the cod. So the mushy peas comes in this uh, little ramekin. Oh, they look good. Drizzle that lemon. Some vinegar. And of course some tart sauce. Lay that on. So I have to say straight away, the batter does look pretty crunchy. Okay, let's do the crunch test first of all. Not too much of a crunch there, but wow. Uh, this is one bit of chunky cod. Look at that. That is so thick. But also, just look how flaky that is. I've gone for the very crunchy bit at the end for the batter test. It's crunchy, but not too much flavour going on in the batter, which is a bit of a shame. I have to say, the batter is a little bit um, tasteless for me. Obviously, I need a little bit of salt on there, but um, the batter seems a little bit plain. Okay, so I'm going to do the flake test of the fish, but straight away it's falling apart in my hands. I mean, look, I've never known the fish, though, to be literally so succulent and just so soft. Look at that. Mm. Not at all dry. It's really nice. It has to be almost like a, a flake. You know, the flakiest chocolate in the world. This has to be like the flakiest fish I've ever had. It's amazing. Need a little bit more salt on this batter to give it a little bit of flavor. Okay, time to do the chip test. Now these chips are actually really chunky. Fluffy inside. Not too hard. In fact, they're really soft. Because I do like soft chips. I hate them when they're still hard in the middle. Those chips are cooked perfectly. So let's try the mushy peas. 
So as you know, I love my peas ultra mushy, and like, this is just absolutely insane mushy. They're ultra mushy, but they're not the best. They don't taste that great. I've had better mushy peas. These chips are the best chips I've had in a while. Mm. Some nice crunchy ones. I like the fact there's a mix of chips. They're not all just thick chips. There's some little thin crunchy ones as well. Look at that. And wash it down with a cup of tea. Obviously the restaurant is lovely. Not much of a view though. In fact, I've been shoved right in the corner. I have to say the, um, the service in here is pretty good. I literally sat down, looked at the menu, someone came over very quickly, asked for what I wanted, I put my order in and probably four or five minutes later it appeared. Next time though I must definitely try the Whitby Scampi. That's not bad. I like the fact as well, it tells you where the fish has come from and which uh, local fisherman has brought it in. It's got a bar in here as well, nice. Come out please! Okay, so for my cod, I paid £10.95, the mushy peas were £1.65 and uh, a cup of Yorkshire tea uh, was £2.10, so that came to £14.70. The chips were brilliant, I really did like the chips, they were really nice and fluffy. The mushy peas were a big letdown because although they were extremely mushy as I always like them to be, they really did lack a bit of flavour to be honest. Let's talk about the fish because wow, it might not have been that big but it was chunky and ultra flaky. I mean, that fish was just literally melting in my fingers and indeed in my mouth. So when I got the batter, I was actually a bit excited because I thought, oh, maybe this is like a beer battered kind of flavor to it because it looked really nice and golden. It wasn't too crunchy, but the batter didn't really taste of anything, to be honest. So I was a little bit disappointed by that, but I couldn't go wrong with the fish. The chips were brilliant. The mushy peas, I'll have to pass. So it's the best rated fish and chip restaurant in Whitby. I, however, would have to give it a seven out of 10. If you like the video, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. And if you'd like to see more fish and chip shop reviews, just click here and I'll see you next time.